Hi, thank you. Yeah, I'm uh, Ryan Bartley. I'm product manager uh, at Google in Android XR. Um, and thank you so much for uh, coming to our talk today. Uh, to give you a quick roadmap uh, for our talk today, we'll be covering five key areas. First, I'll give you a quick uh, platform overview um, of Android XR itself and talk about our deep commitment uh, to the open standards that are so important to this community. Uh, next, we'll dive into developer enablement. I'll share some success stories from our recent developer boot camps uh, and show you some of the new uh, workflow tools we're building uh, based directly on developer feedback. Um, then I'm thrilled to have our partners from Unity uh, join me uh, to do a deep dive on engine and tooling support, followed by our partners at Qualcomm, uh, who will discuss the pathway, pathway uh, for bringing enterprise and industrial applications from Snapdragon Spaces into the broader Android XR ecosystem. Uh, so with that, let's jump right in uh, with the big picture. What it means for XR to be an extension of the Android ecosystem, you already know. Android XR is a natural extension of the Android platform bringing the ecosystem you know into a new immersive dimension. We know that developers create in different ways, uh, so we're building multiple paths for you to bring your experiences to the platform. This includes extensions to familiar Android tools like Jetpack and Compose for those who build natively, uh, but for the immersive high performance experiences that this community is known for, the most direct path is through powerful engines. That's why for the rest of this talk, we'll be focusing on our deep partnership with Unity and our foundational commitment to open standards like OpenXR. This new dimension isn't empty. It's filled from day one. We're bringing the massive Google Play library uh, with us. Most existing 2D Android apps are uh, going to be available immediately, running in a window, uh, giving users a huge catalog of familiar experiences and giving your apps an instant presence on this new generation of devices. We know that creating groundbreaking content requires world-class tools. That's why our philosophy is to meet you where you are. Android XR is designed to fit directly into your existing Unity 6 uh, workflow. Your projects, your assets, your skills, they are your direct on-ramp. Uh, we are building for you in the editor you know and love. Our commitment to a healthy XR ecosystem begins with the foundation of open standards. We are all in on OpenXR, shipping as one of the first platforms with 1.1 support, uh, but we don't just adopt standards. We co-authored the new Spatial Entities extension uh, with Kronos to standardize how apps can understand the, the, and, and interact with the physical world. This philosophy extends across the stack from our support for um, the Vulkan Graphics API to WebXR for immersive web content. Our goal is to always push these standards forward, giving you, the developer, more power uh, and choice to create amazing experiences. Since February, we've hosted four Android XR developer boot camps across the globe. And one of the key outcomes we've seen at each is that developers are finding it easy to port uh, their existing OpenXR apps from other platforms to Android XR. This powerful combination of open standards and multi-platform support for, uh, from Unity has led to multiple developers at the boot camps able to have their content running on an Android XR headset by the end of day two. This ease of porting really resonated, uh, whoops, yeah, there. Uh, this ease of porting really resonated with our attendees. Here's what one of our early partners had to say about the experience. We ported our game to a lot of devices platforms and it's always much more difficult than this, even when we were uh, working closely with their teams. This is the kind of feedback that validates our approach. Uh, and we've listened closely to the feedback that we've gotten at these boot camps about what matters most, performance and iteration speed. Uh, based on what we heard, we're building tools to solve those ex uh, exact problems. Build solid experiences using live performance indicators directly on your device and iterating on your work in seconds with changes from the Unity editor appearing instantly on your headset. This is how we're building a workflow based on your feedback, and we will continue listening. 
and Jack is uh, demonstrating uh, face tracking in the Unity Editor uh, in, in real time. To help you explore these capabilities, we just released a brand new set of showcase samples. These are powerful, um, sorry, these are playful uh, interactive examples designed to show you exactly how to implement core platform features like hand tracking, plane detection, face tracking, and pass-through, um, all using our Unity packages. The best part is the full source code is available for you to deconstruct, learn from, and use in your own projects today. These samples are the result of our deep collaboration with our partners at Unity, uh, and they showcase the amazing experiences you can build with the tools available right now. To tell you much more about those tools and their commitment uh, to making you successful on Android XR from day one, please join me in welcoming Tricia from Unity to the stage. Thanks, Ryan. Uh, hey, everybody. I am Tricia Becker. I am a product manager on Unity's XR, XR team, and I'm focused on Android XR. I'm going to share how we're supporting immersive experiences on Android XR and Unity 6, starting with the Unity package that forms the foundation, plus an additional Google extensions package that adds even more capabilities. All right, so on the left, you've got Unity's Android XR package. This is gonna be your primary package for Android XR development. It includes the foundational features that you need to build immersive experiences on Android XR. The package is currently in pre-release. We have a verified release that's just around the corner, and that will mark a major milestone for stability, for performance, and for platform support. On the right, you've got the Android XR extensions package. So this is an additional package that Google provides it has features that are on top of the core package. So it's gonna be ideal if you're a developer who wants to access experimental or advanced features, and then popular features from that package might graduate to the Unity core package over time. Those two packages are just one piece of the story though. When you combine this with the rest of Unity's XR ecosystem, so tools like AR Foundation, XR Interaction Toolkit, OpenXR, composition layers. You've got a complete toolkit for building VR and MR experiences on Android XR. These tools support key features like occlusion, persistent anchors, and input. So they're gonna help your virtual content feel connected to the real world. The XR Interaction Toolkit lets you use natural hand poses and gestures to interact directly with the virtual space. So with XR hands, you can go beyond basic gestures too. Our custom gesture detection supports actions like thumbs up, thumbs down, pointing, and more. So you can add extra personality to your interactions. Now, one of the most exciting advancements for XR developers has been eye-gazed foveated rendering. This feature leverages eye tracking technology to dynamically adjust rendering focus. It gives you uh, better visual clarity and GPU performance for smoother, more immersive XR experiences. Another rendering feature that we're super excited about is composition layers. So here we've got kind of a side-by-side -side comparison. On the left, you've got a regular texture. On the right, you've got a composition layer. So as you can see with composition layers, it significantly reduces artifacts. It's gonna give you clearer text, sharper outlines, and just an overall better appearance. In Unity 6, we also introduced URP Space Warp. So this is a feature that reduces your application's rendering workload. That means it frees up resources for higher quality graphics and improved performance. You gain additional compute, meaning you can do even more with your render budget. Now we know that building for XR devices can be complex and manual configuration leaves a lot of room for error. So that's why in Unity 6.1, we added a dedicated build profile for Android XR, making it significantly easier to build experiences with optimized settings for Android XR development. You can also create your own build profile. So the new build profile workflow allows you to create a profile that you can customize based on your project's needs. 
And since build profiles are project assets, you can uh, save them, you can manage, and you can share them with your team, ensuring a consistent build experience across the board. Now I'll hand things over to Simone from Qualcomm. He's gonna talk about how Spaces developers can get started with Android XR. Hi, I'm Simon, product manager at Qualcomm for XR. Um, when we developed Spaces, we wanted to bring a set of tools for developers to create immersive applications and experiences that span across a variety of devices in an open ecosystem. Going forward, we're transitioning our efforts that we put into Snapdragon Spaces into Android XR as the unified platform for spatial computing. In the past three years, Snapdragon Spaces developers have put in a lot of effort and time to create applications in the Snapdragon Spaces platform. Now, we want to help them to bring those applications over to the Android XR ecosystem. At yesterday's keynote, we announced the Snapdragon Spaces compatibility plugin to assist with, assist with the migration to Android XR. But what is it? So, it's an optional Unity package that we provide to the former Spaces developers. It supports the set of OpenXR features that's available on both Snapdragon Spaces and Android XR. And then we created a tool integrated in Unity's project settings that allows you to validate against a set of rules to see what's compatible. For that, we have validation for project settings, OpenXR features, and also for the open scene. The goal was to make this as easy as possible. Just going to describe that later in the migration path. This is what the migration path looks like. We're assuming that you're starting with a Snapdragon Spaces project with version 1.0.2, which is our latest right now, and a Unity 2022. You have as a first step, you migrate to Unity 6. That also includes migrating AR Foundation to AR Foundation 6, then going from XR Interaction Toolkit 2 to XR Interaction Toolkit 3. And we also very much recommend that you update your project from built-in render pipeline to universal render pipeline. As a second step, you would then migrate to the Spaces Compatibility plugin. You replace the Snapdragon Spaces SDK with the Snapdragon Spaces compatibility plugin and then load in the Android XR packages provided by Unity and Google. Of course, the other packages such as XR Hands or XR Composition Layers that Trisha mentioned earlier um, can be added in this step as well. Then what you would do is you open the config tool, you select Android XR as the target platform you want to build for do a bunch of clicks for the setup, validate against the set of rules we created, and your project should work on Android XR out of the box when you build it. We collaborated with one of the leading Spaces Enterprise developers, Thier, to bring their former Snapdragon Spaces project to Android XR with the Spaces compatibility plugin. Using the Spaces compatibility plugin, they were able to migrate their app to Android XR without access to an Android XR device, just using the old Snapdragon Spaces project they had and a Spaces device from years ago. And to prove that, here a quick video. This is a collaborative session of Sphere running on Snapdragon Spaces and here on Android XR. If you're a former Spaces developer, you can do the same. If you have an old Snapdragon Spaces device, a Snapdragon Spaces Unity project, and the Snapdragon Spaces compatibility plugin downloaded from our Qualcomm developer portal, right here. Cool. Then, handing it back over to Ryan for closing words.
Thanks, Simone. And thank you so much to our incredible partners at Unity and Qualcomm. Today, we've shown you a complete ecosystem. The scale of the Android XR platform, the powerful workflow in Unity, and the power of Snapdragon Spaces on Android XR. Everything you need to get started is in this toolkit. Our developer portal is live now with docs and resources. You can explore the full source code uh, for our showcase samples uh, to get inspired on GitHub. And you can prepare today by upgrading your projects to Unity 6. So you're ready when the Unity OpenXR uh, package comes out of Experimental for your seamless transition to the platform. The next generation of interactive entertainment and enterprise solutions will be built by you. We're building this platform to give you a massive head start so you can bring your vision to life the moment you have a device in your hands. Thank you, and we can't wait to see what you build.